Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking my video. If you've been here before, thank you so much for joining me again in today's topic, which is self-discovery. Self-discovery is very important. It is when you find yourself. It's when you understand what you like to do, your strengths, your values, your beliefs, your understanding. First thing that is like crucial is something called the self-determination theory. So it was created by two psychologists, very, very smart individuals. Basically what they have decided was that we're gonna study individuals and see how, how do people explore themselves? How do people figure out that they like certain things? How do people see, hey, this I tried this thing, it wasn't for me, or hey, I, I tried to do this thing, it didn't work out for me. So there's three main components to the self-determination theory. There is autonomy, there is relatedness, and there is competence. Autonomy is my favorite. That is where you have like, a moment where you're just like wow this is i i want to do this and it's because i want to do it it's not because somebody told me to do it it's not because i feel like somebody led me in this path to do it it's because this is genuinely something that i care about that i like to do that mixed with competence which is the feeling like you've completed a job like you're doing a really good job you're doing good work you're whether it's you're helping somebody you're growing with this job you're learning new things it's exciting to you basically they found that when you're doing a really really good job that is when people really kind of go full throttle and they propel with something that they really enjoy doing so there's two types of motivation that goes with it. You have your extrinsic and you have your intrinsic. These two types of motivations are very important because extrinsic kind of goes with you're getting rewards or, or motivation from somewhere outside of the mind. So basically that means like someone is, is kind of egging you on. You have that, that push to want to go get awards, to go do good things, you know. Intrinsic is kind of like our inside, like it's giving a reward to ourselves. So our dopamine receptors are really like firing off. We like to do this thing. It, we see it as a tree. It's really exciting. We, we really enjoy it. Then we have relatedness, which is where we've seen that we're able to make meaningful connections with these individuals. We're able to grow, we're able to blossom. We're able to grow together in this kind of like relatedness connected like, hey, I see you like this thing. I really like it too. Like, let's be cool, you know, like, let's be friends or whatever. So what they found was like, when all these three components are aligned, that will really propel and push somebody to exceed in whatever it is that they're doing. So whether it's tennis, golf, hockey, singing, dance, sports, theater arts, you know, anything that these individuals like, and it's because it's something that this individual likes to do it, they're they're meeting people while they're doing it they're making these bonds and they also are rewarding themselves along the way because what they're liking to do that other people are rooting them on it kind of is like a mixture of something that makes you feel good and then somebody's like kind of like come on like that's good like keep going and over time it kind of developed into something that individuals have then used to go with self-discovery so i say all that to say those three components have to be in line. If, they're, if one of them goes lacking, that's when you'll see an individual that kind of just wings off from a whole project or you'll see people that, and that's why I love the movie Soul. It's so important because it's so true. Those things have to be aligned. All those things have to be in line. Once you guys have these needs, it's, it's pretty much like, okay, it's up and it's stuck. I have been able to fulfill all of those needs. This is something, psychology is something that I'm getting. I'm getting rewarded because I'm learning wellness. I'm learning mindfulness. I'm growing as I go. I'm helping other people. Other people are egging me on. I found a sense of relatedness within my, my job, within the field that I'm working in. There's a lot of other people that are cheering me on. They're like, let's go, let's do it. Um, especially with it being a lot of black people don't go into studying the mind and psychology. So I'm very happy in that I chose that route. You have other individuals, for example, like writers, they, they feel like writing, it kind of relieves them in a way. So that is their in, internal reward. They have people, you know, support systems around them that are also egging them to go on. So what you see is kind of like, you know, now they're meeting people that they're working with. It's like all these things intertwine. So when people have these moments of self-discovery, they're like, wow, this this is me. This is what I like to do. Is I'm I'm in it. I'm in it to win it. And that's self-discovery is all those big things. You have to you have to try new things, you know, you have to journal. 
I don't know how many times I say get a journal. Have we got our journals yet? I hope so. Journaling will get you so far because you're going to see what you like, what you don't like. You're going to be able to manifest things and see, you know, try to grow these seeds and, and plant your gardens and see like, okay, is this working for me? Um, is this what I like to do? Or is this something that somebody has led me to do? You know, what, what is it that I'm, I'm supposed to be doing? You got to understand your strengths. You got to understand hobbies. So many things I was going to mention about family genograms while I have a little bit of time left. I was able to kind of construct a family genogram that kind of was like strengths of my grandma, some of my aunts, some of my cousins, some, you know, what what's strong in my bloodline? Where in my family, what do a lot of people like to do? What do I like to do? I always knew I like to talk. So I knew I wanted to go into a field where I could talk a lot, where I could be on a platform and tell people how I feel and my emotions. So that's, you know, that's kind of what I've done. These are just little bitty pieces of things. You know, guys, I kind of go more in depth on my Instagram. Be sure to follow all of my social media platforms at that girl, Vani. Thank you so much guys for watching my video. I'll see you guys next time. And